Hey, what's going on, social media family? I want to tell you about a, a really cool dream that I had last night. And I was so encouraged by it for me personally, but also I know that this dream is going to encourage a lot of people and it's going to have a lot of people really look at where they are in their life with God and also look at their life where they are in the calling and the purpose and the destiny that God has for them. And through this word, you will align to see where you are in positioning with God to be able to move forward and do what he has called you to do. So last night I had this amazing dream. And in this dream, I was coming out of, of a beautiful body of water. It was the ocean. And I was rising above where the water level was. I was actually coming above it. I was coming up through it and I could tell that I was on a surfboard. And as I started to come up higher and higher, I could tell that I was on the backside of a huge wave. Like the wave was like, you could tell it was going like this and I was on the backside of it and I was coming up. And as I started to come up out of the water, like I said, I was on a surfboard and had my arms out like this and I could tell that I had my footing right and I was on a firm foundation and I was positioned perfectly. And then all of a sudden I started to rise and I got on the top of the wave. And as I rolled to the top of the wave, I could see a beautiful beach in the distance and an amazing looking city. And the Lord said, you've made it on top of this wave and now you're going to do what I've called you to because you are positioned and you're gonna ride this wave, and this wave is going to last for a long, long time. I was so excited, and then all of a sudden, I look back at the, the bottom of the wave, the, the base of the wave, kind of behind the wave, and there were so many people. These people had their surfboards. They looked like, you know, they were ready, but they were looking at me, and then they were like, man, I, I, I could just tell by looking in their face, like, man, I missed it. The Holy Spirit spoke in the dream so powerfully and said, I want you to tell those people back there, don't worry, there's another wave coming. And so in the dream, I yelled, don't worry, get in the proper position because you're going to catch the next wave and it's coming shortly. Guys, I'm telling you, Right now is the most exciting time to be alive in the history of the world. I am so excited for what God is doing in America and the nations of the world. And everybody that I'm talking to, my, my mentors and my friends, they are all super, super stirred up because they can feel that God is coming through in a great way. And there are so many people that are positioned to do what he's called them to. So I just want to kind of chat with you a little bit about that dream. But in that dream, when I started coming through the water, I, I, like I said, the, the wave was, you could tell it was going up, and I started, you know, coming up through the water. I, I felt so confident in God. I felt so just refreshed. I, I just felt rejuvenated. I felt it like a, excitement. And, and I, I felt like this strength and stamina from the Lord and then a little bit later in that dream, you know, I had shared that the Lord spoke to me and said, this wave is going to last for a long period of time. And why that encouraged me so much is because over the last few years, when I got before the Lord at the, right before the new year started, that the Lord spoke to me and said, I want you to keep doing what you're doing. And, and that really excited me. And then also in the dream, it was very exciting to look at the people that didn't catch this wave, they may feel like they missed something, that the, the Lord wants you to know, you may not have been on this wave, but, you're, but there's another wave coming. And so you just need to really position yourself with the Lord, tap in with the Lord, find out what God is doing, because this next wave, you now the next wave that's coming, it may be in business, it may be in revival, it may be in finances, you know, I, I have so many people, they talk about stocks or cryptos that absolutely exploded. And they're like, man, I, I missed that. I said, don't worry about it. Just pray. Let the Lord speak to you about what to invest in. You'll, you'll catch the next thing. You'll get the next, next movement coming in. You're going to be all right. And so I, I just want to encourage you today. You know, if, 
if, if you're in the midst of, if you feel like, like where I was in that wave was a word for you, man, you're going to ride this wave for a long time. And I really believe that what God is doing now, it's just not something he's doing for a brief season, but he is creating a movement of his will, of his spirit, of his power. The Holy Spirit's going to come, become so real in churches. Also, I feel in the financial realm, you're about to see a lot of different people move forward in a lot of things. God ha has an agenda. God has a plan. There's a lot of people moving forward in this. And a lot of times, whenever God does something, there's a lot of people who catch the, the second wave. They're, they, they may call themselves like late bloomers, but they're really not. They just, they weren't all on the cutting edge of the forefront of what God was doing. And so I just want to encourage you today, man, get in there with the Lord. Allow him to, to minister to you, to speak to you. Hang on to your prophetic words. Don't let anybody talk you out of what God is, is speaking to you about. Don't let anybody come against you. And listen, if you're going to do anything for God, you, you're, going to, you're going to have critics. You're going to have naysayers um, on our YouTube and Facebook channels and pages. I'm telling you, there are all-time high. Trolls are at an all-time high. People are also coming against the prophetic at a, at a degree. They're going on witch hunts after prophets. But the prophetic word is the from lots of people. The prophets are arising. Get ready for prophetic dreams. Get ready for prophetic visions. And to start releasing words to people. I'm not talking about being weird releasing words. I'm talking about releasing the word of the Lord. It may be in a church or to services or whatever. But you know the Holy Spirit. You got the word of God in your mouth and in your heart. Never be afraid to release what God gives you. So I'm going to ride this wave, y'all. I love you guys. And hope this helped you and encouraged you today.